What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash Season 3 video. Thank you for so much clicking that play button, it's awesome. And while you're here, please do leave a like and if you've enjoyed the video, a subscribe will be super, super appreciated. So the Flash Season 3, like I've said, has proved to be a lot of fun and a lot of interesting moments. Granted, the enemy reveal quite wasn't as good as Prometheus over on Arrow, but what really is going to be, to be honest, because that was an absolutely amazing reveal of a villain. However, here on The Flash Season 3, there is a lot of hubbub talk about is Iris West dead? What's Savitar's real endgame? And, well, what the hell is going to happen at the end of the season? Now, there's one thing which I have been interested about and it was something that actually was told to us in part of the reveal of when Barry the Time Remnant revealed himself to be, well, Savitar. So he said that he needed two things. Now he needed Iris West to die so, well, Barry would become him and, and really that he could exist pretty much. Obviously, that is needed, so then he tries to create these time remnants, and then blah, 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 we get all this wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Now, there's one other thing he needs. He says that, well, I need another thing that, well, I'm not going to tell you just yet. Now, what could that be? Now, it could have already been answered on the show, but has it? So... There are many, many things that he actually needs. Well, obviously, firstly, he needs to actually exist, of course. I mean, that is really, really important that he exists, which is why he's doing the whole stabbing of his bay thing, which is completely dickish. Now, what else does he actually need? So, let's quickly break down how he became. So, he was shunned. He went back in time, and then he had his Philosopher's Stone, and then all this madness happened. Now, he revealed that, well, the Flashpoint is what really helped him escape, and he's saying just how selfish Barry is, and that he has already lived everything that has already happened. So, what does he actually need? So... The Philosopher's Stone is possibly one of the things that he actually needs. I mean, the whole thing with the calcified Speed Force Fragment, which is what we found out what it actually is, that was really, really integral to actually surviving. Now, I can't help but think that maybe this is what he needs, but part of me also thinks that, well, this seemed like a bit of a reaction to the memories changed. If you remember... When Barry was revealed, he was going to go look for and get the Dominator's power source weapon thing. Well, the memories changed in Savitar, and then it looked like he didn't really care. It looks like he'd already worked out what he was actually going to do, and that was, well, revealed to be the calcified Speed Force fragment. Now, the other thing he actually needs, what actually is that? Now... We have seen in the promos for the finale that he goes into a massive portal and it looks like there's some red surrounding him so that it could be a battle between him and Barry. So could he need an actual portal to be created for him to go through? Maybe to the future is he going to another Earth? But I can't help but think that maybe it is simply just the Philosopher's Stone that he actually needs. Obviously, it could be just some kind of existential, completely other kind of psychological thing. Does he just need Barry to completely bro be broken? But then that would fall under the whole thing of Iris West actually dying. Or does he need someone else or something? Can't help but think maybe the Speed Force gun as well. But then again, that also would be a reaction to the memories and granted he did say this before the memories actually changed so maybe he needs another power source or he needs something else to be saved 
And there is that team up theory that I talked about yesterday. So could he need something from Star Labs or does he need something from Team Flash? Maybe even he actually needs someone to vibe him. Will he need Cisco to vibe him somewhere else? So I can't help but think that maybe he needs that portal created and he needs Cisco and maybe Killer Frost to fight again to cause maybe a portal to wherever he's going to go and become the god that he actually is. So if what do you think? What do you think that other thing he actually needs is? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.